The EU's New Deal offers African states aid in exchange for reducing the number of people leaving their countries for Europe. An example is this EU-funded project which rehabilitates refugees who've returned to Ethiopia. It's a carrot-and-stick approach, and there will be consequences for those that do not make progress. On the negative incentives, we must do everything to prevent that situation from happening, to avoid that debate with African states. But we need to have these tools in our pocket if they're necessary. We need that clarity in our relationships with African states. The deal initially offers funding to seven African countries, Ethiopia, Libya, Mali, Niger, Nigeria, Senegal and Tunisia. But there are also plans to expand aid programs to Sudan and Eritrea. This is shocking because we have known already that uh, projects uh, funded by the European Union were uh, intended to be channeled, for example, towards Sudanese uh, ministry to buy computers, to buy cameras and for detention centres in the aim of having a better migration management. The use of EU money for development policies should be to fight poverty and to fight uh, injustice, but not to buy detention centres uh, equipment. Eritrea and Sudan are both subject to international sanctions because of alleged large-scale human rights abuses. NGOs say the EU should insist on higher human rights standards in the countries that receive its aid. Opponents of the deal also say that by trying to shift the responsibility for migrants to their countries of origin, the EU is setting a dangerous precedent, which could encourage countries like Kenya to close their refugee camps. Elena Casas, CCTV, Brussels.